Hey art friends, today we're drawing another character from Mario. Which one? Blooper! Oh yeah, what are they? Squids! This is the squids, yeah. I think that's what they're called, bloopers. Yeah. We hope you're gonna follow along. You need your marker or something to draw with. You also need some? Paper and something to color with. Let's start. Ye yes. Okay. Let's first start by drawing our bloopers eyes. We're gonna draw two circles in the middle of our paper. I'll draw them about this big. I'm gonna draw one on the left side and then leave a little space and then draw another one the same size for the right eye. Yeah, and leave a little space. Good job. Now let's draw a smaller circle inside of the first circle we drew. And let's color in that smaller circle. Anytime we speed up the video, or if we go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time. Okay, now let's draw. There's an opening around our bloopers eyes. We're gonna draw a curve. I'm turning my paper sideways. Sometimes that's easier to see where I'm drawing. So we start over the eye, and then we go up in the middle. Then let's come down below the eyes and draw that same curve. We're gonna go up in the middle and then back down. Next, let's connect the top line down to the bottom. We'll start up at the top, draw a curve, and then straight down, and then another curve into the bottom curve. So it looks like a box with rounded corners. Let's do the same thing on the right side. We'll draw a curve, and then straight down, and then another curve into that bottom line. We're gonna color in that box around the eyes later. Let's keep going and draw the body next. Oh, let's draw the tentacles, the bottom of the squid. We're gonna draw the an upside down V down here at the bottom. We're gonna come up and then back down. And I'm trying to draw that right in the middle in between the eyes, but down here. You could even draw an imaginary line straight down and then add a point right here and then draw a line, diagonal line down on each side. Yes, there you go. Now we're gonna draw the outside of the first tentacle. We're gonna draw a little curve at the bottom and then we're gonna curve up and stop underneath the eye, the left eye. Yes, let's do the same thing on the right side. Draw a little curve down at the bottom and curve up. And where I'm stopping is a little higher than the middle point. Now let's draw a line down, straight down, but I'm gonna stop short so that this next tentacle is a little higher or shorter than the first two we drew. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Curve down and stop short. Cool, this next part's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna draw another imaginary line from the middle of the eyes up and we're gonna add a point right there. Yes. Now we're gonna draw, oh, let's start up here and we're gonna draw a big curve that comes down and connects to this point on the left side. So we'll start at the point up at the top and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down next to the eyes. We're gonna come down and then curve in to the tentacle right here. Yes. Now I got a little close to the eyes over here. So on this side, Maybe I'll leave a little extra space. So we're gonna curve down just like we did. Let's see if I can, oh, no, it's about the same. <laughs> we're gonna curve down and then in for that last tentacle. That's okay, we're practicing, right? Yeah. The next time I draw, maybe I'll make them a little wider and add more space next to the eyes. Oh, just like that. <laughs> okay, now let's add, he has one more tentacle on each side. We're gonna draw a curve out to the left. And then we're gonna add a little round corner or point at the end, and then we're gonna curve back in to the body. Let's do the same thing on the right side. We're gonna draw another curve, except this one comes out to the right. And then right at the end, we're gonna add a round point and then curve into the body. Let's add one more detail for the top of our blooper's body. We're gonna add a diagonal line that comes up and to the left on the left side, and also that same diagonal line coming up and to the right. 
Yes. Now we can add another guide point right above this first point that we did. Let's start up at the top where that guide point is, and we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes down right next to the body, and then right at the end, we're gonna curve into that diagonal line. Now it really looks like a Mario squid, doesn't it? Yeah. And then let's go back up to that point, and we'll curve down on the right side, and then into the diagonal line. It looks awesome, yeah. except we still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward again, but at the end you could pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. We did it, we finished drawing and coloring our Mario bloopers. I, I still can't believe that's the name. Yeah. I just learned that. I've always just called them squids. Yeah. What do we use to color our drawings? Biennial markers. Yeah, or by, I think that's how you say it, biennial markers. If you have the same set, we just used our S or black color for the inside of the eyes. And then we also used CGO3. It's a light gray. And we use that to make our squids look more three dimensional by shading them and we're adding shadows around the outside. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing your Mario squid. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.